So we have a hitch here for the Subaru 2010 on the back. We're gonna remove the plastics on the side from the taillights, which uses your regular Phillips screwdriver and a 10 millimeter what? socket. Okay. Yes, yeah, socket, baby. Oh. We're gonna use 10 millimeter socket to remove this mm -hmm. and this. Yeah. Yes, and on this side as well. So once we're done with that, we're gonna move to the tail light. Here we can just remove it, just like that, and then get all the lamps out. Make this one right here. And you see all the lamps, the bulbs are connected in the back. Simple twist will do the trick. Twist, twist, and twist. Everything comes out, so we can remove the light. Then we're gonna remove two push fasteners under the well wheel, which is located right here and then on top on top right over here fast pushing it right here and then we have one more on top right about here so you remove the push fastener so you can just pull the bumper away from the car gently careful don't break those little pieces over here what I did, I lifted it up a little bit so it came off easier. I think this one cracked, but oh well. So you will literally pull the bumper away once it's um, off the car. It literally comes off. Just be careful. Same thing on this side. See, it comes off right there. Just give it a little more push and the whole bumper will easily come off as you can see. I only remove those two push fasteners and that's it the rest is just a clip on and it really comes off as easy as like that and that's it the bumper is off I'm gonna go ahead and remove that bumper foam it comes up easily and we are ready now we're gonna go ahead and remove all eight 14 millimeter bolts from here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna use a torque wrench so it's a little faster. And just continue doing the same thing. Okay, so this is off, and you can see four rods right here where we're gonna attach the actual hitch. Yeah. Right, champion? Yeah. Okay, show me how to do bubbles. <laughs> nice, good job. Let me see, look at the camera. Push, push. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Okay, that's enough, okay. All right, so we took everything off. Mm -hmm. We took the... Uh, hey. This piece off right here. We're gonna install the actual hitch, which is right over here. <laughs> I see no. You can see me now. Yeah. So we're gonna go right on top of this thing. This one. It actually perfectly matches. No funny. Yes. I see your stomach. Bro. Yeah. Look, that's perfect. Look, Bubbles. Huh? Yeah. You I like it? I see. Oh, two sides. So we're gonna put back that piece the the crash piece or whatever how you call it i have no idea how you call it and then we'll bolt it all together and put it back on and that's it i am also gonna use uh, i'm also gonna use some thread locker so we'll we'll thread lock all of those as well to be safe and that's it say hi baboon hi you over there oh everything back i got a high strain uh, thread locker for that. So we'll see how that works. Let's get going, Bobo. Yeah! Okay, we're gonna just be careful because it's gonna fall, okay? So it seems pretty snug. 
the hood and attach the hood. I'm gonna put the thread like that. Just be careful, babe. There's a camera here, okay? Bubble, be careful, okay? Oh, I need a knife, Bubble. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and reattach everything. Mm -hmm. Same sequence. This is nice and snug. I see you, Dada. Yes, baby. Okay, so I'm gonna put some high strength thread locker yeah. right here, mm -hmm. there, yeah. and there. Don't touch because it's sticky. Okay, and here and there, and then here, here, here and there. I see you, Dada. Yes, baby. Okay, so reattach this one back, babies. Look, like this. Yeah, I saw the silo. We still the same things. And I'm just gonna fix it really good because it keeps falling off. Yeah. Okay. Full of Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, you see Mickey Mouse? No. Yeah. Where? Oh, right there. Okay, okay, so we got Okay, so we we'll double check all the knots, make sure everything's tight. Yeah. One more time. So now we're gonna put this. Yeah, this is good. We're gonna put this one back, okay? Yeah. It's taking this one just good. Let's see which way this one goes. This way. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Let's and then we're gonna have to cut the bumper yeah. to the specs. Which we're gonna make a little hole right here, okay, little one? Mm-hmm. For that. Sounds good? Okay, so that looks pretty nice. It's pretty sturdy. It is 4,000 pounds winch with 600 pound uh, ton weight, which is plenty enough for my bike. <laughs> yeah. All right, now we're gonna check the buffer to kind of see where, where are we going. Yeah, it's hot. Look at my heart. Oh, I see it's blocking it. See, Bubba? Yeah. So we're going to use this yeah. to add our buffer. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, let me just measure so it's okay. <clears throat> it's big. Be every day and da 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 da. Okay. So we measured it. Uh -huh. So I can just go ahead and cut it. Don't touch it, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, see you, Dada. I see you, boss. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this one. Yeah. Let's put the camera there. Mm -hmm. Let me point it down this way. 
So we're going to go ahead and cut the piece right about here. Yeah. Sounds good? Yeah. Alright, let's see. This is short. We are biking too. Like about this? Mm -hmm. I can see you. <laughs> Alright, so we're cutting that plastic on the bumper right underneath, pretty much right in the center. Okay. Yeah. And then we're gonna measure it one more time. Yeah. So, Xander keeps moving, but that's how it looks like, right underneath. I'm going to go a little closer. And that's how it looks like, right there. We're just going to move this one right there, and that's the hitch. Um, we'll take a little better video once, once everything installs, so we can see when the bumper, how far is the bumper, okay. And how much it sticks out because I know a lot of people yeah. want to know how far it sticks out and everything else. It's more sticky. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and climb the bumper. The bumper 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 the Hold the hold the take the picture. Everything's aligned. Okay. My video is gonna look really bad because you touched me. Okay. Oh. Silly boy. Yeah. Silly baboon. Silly baboon. I'll be shy. Come on. Look at that. Yeah. Can you see? Can we see it nicely on the camera? Yes, we can. So that's that. That's how it's gonna stick out. Yeah. So we're gonna put Push, 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 push. 
Alright, so we're gonna clamp this one this way. Are you helping? Are you helping? Yeah. Okay? Hey. Are you good? Are you seeing your dad? Yes. I see your butt. Yes. I see you. I see you. It's not even like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. Dad, it's not like that. Look, see? I thought you were like that. See? Oh, no. Dad. No, it's not. Dad, it's not like that. Yeah, okay. Just put it there. Good, thank you. Don't touch it anymore, okay? Let me see. That's how the hitch looks, guys. That's how much it sticks out. Pretty much almost invisible. And that's how it looks overall. Looks pretty good. Very low profile. I will also... Well, I'm gonna put the lights back on. Put the push fasteners back on. And then I'll show you guys how the bike rack, the door bike rack fits on this one. And uh, we'll see if I need an extension to lift it up, or we can do just fine with that. All right, can we go ahead and put the light back on? Turn the drop, see what Just good. goes right in between this little little groove. Put those plastics back on. So make sure you put in that little groove on the side. Let's check on this side, that's what I'm going to make it because I said it's off just a little bit. So I'll show you guys where to do it. So, okay, like, it's supposed to slide in right on those two points. So just make sure you align it nicely. So this is how it looks. I put the lights back on, two screws over here, one, two, and then the snaps, the push fasteners right here on the side, the plastic back on. Make sure when you're putting the back, the lights, there's two little plastic uh, attachments so you slide a run on that, otherwise your uh, tail light's gonna stick out right here. This is the way it looks, nice and trimmed. From the side, it's literally barely, barely sticking out. Same thing for this light. Plastic back on, two screws, 10 millimeter, and that's it. We are done.